Is there anything this way? Oh, yeah, that looks better. What's in the bin? Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have gotten caught on this climbing over the fence. That, that's a nasty catch. If climbing over a fence does that to you, that's a lot of blood. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Still wet. We can catch him. What's this? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. No, but hold on to it. You never know. Blood trail. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. It's gotta have something to do with the blood on the fence. That is incredible detective work. What about forward? Anything this way? Yep. Something in the bush? Nobody there. I think we're done out here. Go talk to... Was it Snow White? I feel like it was Snow White. Let's give her this thing. What oh, are you doing? Sussing out the material. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Not even close. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. Good idea. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? This is a message. Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? The placement of the Whoever head? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I don't reckon it was the woodsman, though. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Not sure why. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway. So we may as well get out in front of it. Uh, It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Yeah, right. Do what you I need to do it's then. It's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully, he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Who are these poses? What are you, blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Oh, well, work, work here, here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. That's just... It's... Fucker. It's my office! Ah, uh, no, it's not my office. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Who's yes, this guy? Of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. 
You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else it's is to blame fault. if not you? If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role Here's in this is duly right. noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, that I have pimp. half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Who's that pimp? Yeah. Her. Was she, uh... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I nah. will. That's not a massage. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. <laughs> Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You're an asshole. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Who cares about Crane? Never mind. Smoke away. Uh... Crane is an asshole. asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole Only an scale? eight. Well, that doesn't sound right. No. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh, he's a cute little dude. Hi, friend. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> He's so today, proud of himself. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not it great. Hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Bufkin, that was polite of you. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Duh. I'm not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. <sighs> Get the book. What book? He the knows book. The ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Mirror, mirror on the Hi, wall. This is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that uh, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Well, we'll talk to the magic lamp first. Yep. See if that does anything special. Worth a try. I felt the same. Mm -hmm. I have the record right here. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest hey, of magic them mirror. All? I got a question. You know the rule. <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. He's a poet and he didn't know it. Mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, 
Was that so hard? Dropping yeah, bars. I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Less bars. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um, I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. It's fair. What about the woodsman? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. <laughs> no shit. Which street? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. All right, well, show me Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Just for a laugh. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. And Snow? Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Yeah, but he's just got a little crush. Why don't we try the Show woodsman the again? Woodsman. And now he's barfing. Alright, cheers, Nobody bro. Right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Cool. Cool. If those books are supposed to be the well, same I'm series, sure we'll why are they different up. sizes? Okay. Thank you. Those are the real questions. Nice relaxing music. Jeez, how far away did they go? Is that the Infinity Gauntlet right there? <laughs> Think you're funny, do ya? We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Hmm. This is cool. That's you. Her. Me. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Oh, there's seven dwarves. They... Why do they look so menacing? Like, they, they look like the type of guys that would steal your shoes and one of your socks. Just one. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. <laughs> Old mate Woodsy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And Good. the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. I don't suppose that girl from the start was Little Red Riding Hood. Beauty in happier days. Maybe. And her man, Beast. Funny. Colin and his brothers. Who dat? I've seen this before. Oh yeah, it's on his ring. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I wasn't done looking at this book though. Nice hat. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Oh, good for him. Who's that? Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? <laughs> the boss. His finest moment. 
Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Was that some foreshadowing? We won't know until we play. Alright, so we're done with that book. Let's try this one. Book of Symbols. It's like the Tree of Life. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. <laughs> I can help. Yeah, thanks. Good on you, Buffkin. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Fair enough. I reckon we just try to find that symbol. Is that it? What's that? Nah. It reads. It's close. Mark of the house of the frog prince. More frogs. Not quite who I'm looking for. No, not quite. Well, that's the woodsman. We know that. So we don't need to worry about that. Cinderella doesn't seem to have a logo. There it is. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. <laughs> Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Say that ten Donkey times fast. Skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, oh, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. Hi, the Battle queen Axe. Grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. It's a bit of a sad story. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Brutal. Donkey skin. Uh, what's skin. her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. <laughs> yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Look, we have to no, notify him I at don't. the very least. But we need to let him know about his wife. Uh, now what? Just leave? that's her there. Oh, oh ah! Wait. Anyway, that's her there, apparently. Alright, I think we're done with this room, if we can actually get out of it. Oh, we could ask the mirror about the Prince Lawrence guy. So we'll quickly do that. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Do another one.
What's the last one? Death. Damn. Oh. Yes, what the fuck is this supposed to mean? Why'd you keep that one? I don't know. Oh, we can ask the mirror about the, uh... You know what this means? Card. Tarot card. Tarot is a backwards art. Tarot. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Okay. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? I mean, that was close enough. Um, let's go Faith's Show father. Faith's father. The old king. He dead dead. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He, he's super dead. What about Faith? Show me... Show me Faith. Is it just Through gonna powerful be... powerful magic her whereabouts conceal. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not hey. my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Interesting. What about Prince Lawrence? He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. He dead too. Super dead. What's he been doing? Ah, oh, maybe he's Where not super this? dead. Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Thanks. Uh, Nobody right now. Thanks, Mira. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. How'd they know? Bigby, it's me, Toad. Toad Z. Uh, 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 what do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Not Toad. Shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? That's gonna I have know. to wait. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. No. Go save Toad. Whenever you're ready. He was so nice to you at the start. Unless they're going to make me make a decision. Which I believe, if that's the case, this will be the first drastic decision that we have to make Did Toad say that he was changes there? Was it the, woodsman? the way the game plays possible. out. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, where to first? Not a good game. Play if you're as undecisive as myself. I want to help Toad. Yeah, look, my moral compass is telling me to help Toad, so we're gonna go help Toad. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Out. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. What happened to your car? My mate landed on it. Is somebody what? up there? Is he made or he's fine? Look at my damn car. That's not Toad at all. I missed the opportunity to say something though. Wait here.
Maybe staying silent was the right choice that time. Shit. Look at the door. Something bashed its way in. Oh, that was the wolf. <laughs> I'm sorry! That's enough, alright? Just shut it! Look at the couch. I don't even remember half of this shit. How wasted were you? I thought you were sober when you were fighting the woodsman. Nothing over here. Oh, there's something in the bucket. What's in the bucket? Should probably get that fixed. Oh, it's not a. Yeah, right. Right, 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 right. Apologies. Rip the phone straight off the wall. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Let's hey, talk Toad. to him first. You in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. He looks Sorry, very troubled. Bigby. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? That's right. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Nah, uh, something's going I mean, on. I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody someone was in your building. Yeah, someone. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? Poor kid. It has a weevil. Cool. Uh -oh. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. What are you hiding, Toad? How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Yeah, there's two. One for the clock and one for the fan, do you reckon? Is that blood? Yep. He's bleeding. Why? Is that blood? 
Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll Busted. cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, and unbelievable. Don't you go now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a babel, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. What else we got? Window. What's in the window? Someone clawed their way in. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. Oh, I there's marks here on the window sill. So. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Yeah, but you're a frog. You don't have any, like, claws that would cause that. Oh, yeah. The blood was definitely from your cut hand. Don't want to talk about the fact someone used a fire poker to smack someone? What happened here? The poker? Well, hold it. There's more blood on the tip. Did this happen before or after you came in the window? After, after. Oh, I was, I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Um, uh, uh, I thought you cut your Wait, hand. You dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, Busted. No, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. So how long ago did all of this happen? Because you seem fine, but the blood's still wet. Oh my God, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think I you're think hiding something, Budza. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. You're hiding something, Toadie. You're hiding something. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. Ah, oh, there was something on the table. Go back. Detective Bigsy and Detective Danny are on the case. More blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Looks suspiciously like that lamp over there. Yep. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Left Didn't stop the well, recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? The broken lamp was that here. The broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? That's uh, the mark because of the dust. The lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I did it. some refiguring. Caught him in another lie. Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Look, Toad, we were coming here to try and be friends with you, but if you're not going to help us out in any way. I swear there was another thing just here. Ah, oh, no, nah, it's just the door. My apologies. Alright, come on, Toad, spill your beans. I think my junior has a crush on your girl. Get tough. 
I know you're lying, Toad. Come clean, Toad. Look around more. I don't really want to get tough with him, so we'll just tell him that oh, we know he's lying. I know you're lying about the lamp. Well, the lamp fell, is all. I bumped it. Coming, coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? Busted big time, boyo. What else you got to say? <laughs> Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. Alright, what fine. We'll get tough. We're I gonna know get something's tough. Off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. Don't really want to intimidate him just yet. We'll uh come back to that. Alright, let's all see what they want. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. <sighs> Gonna have to get tough. Oh. Let's look at the door, because, uh... Why is the lock busted? Yeah. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Say, why haven't you fixed it? Then why climb out the window? Busted, yeah. Then why climb Why'd in the you window? Climb in through the window, then. Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this, the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face, that you think I'm hiding something from you? Yes. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. I figure I was going to tell hell. me the truth when it's I say it. It's not seemly. When you tell me the truth. You start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? We're not Toad, threatening him. These stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me. I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Oh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that. Butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning, I could tell you that. But, oh, damn it. I Do didn't get a chance to say anything. For? 
I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. Shit. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. Children when always put me in the shit. Left well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Ah. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. What you got there? It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you <laughs> I like the tone. Try and give it to him, or? Don't make it a dilemma. Uh, uh, open it. Pack it. I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. That wasn't worth it. Maybe Lawrence does. That wasn't worth it, it at all. It's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Now I feel like that's gonna come bite me in the it butt. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Like Prince Lawrence is gonna get pissed off at us because we opened his letter. Does it always go that smoothly? No. Not often. Ever. So the prince is now? Lawrence's. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. 